Hello, everyone. I have a new movie review for you, and it's for one that I was really, really looking forward to. I thought it was a great idea with loads of potential, but the end product so far exceeds my expectations, and I am just beyond hyped right now to tell you about it. This right here is my review of Free Guy. Ryan Reynolds leads the movie as the title character, Guy. He thinks he's living the good life in Free City, working as a bank teller. He is super friendly, he's hardworking, and he just loves his coffee. Yeah, there are frequent ultra-violent crimes, but it passes and Guy wakes up the next morning to a sunny day and his goldfish just bubbling over with cheer and positivity until he comes to learn that he's actually a non-playable character in an open world video game where the users are basically destroying things 24 seven. I do think that Free Guy could have easily been a very enjoyable movie just by coasting on that high concept, but that is not what director Sean Levy and his team do here. They put in the work and the creative energy to ensure that every single step of the way Free Guy has something fun, fresh, and insightful to offer. I really do think that this right here is a prime example of making the absolute most of a real catchy high concept on screen. Right from the start, I was totally hooked by the basics of the world and also just so charmed by Ryan Reynolds in this role. He's got a bit of a Will Ferrell elf vibe that fish out of water, naive kind of thing going on. And I was just absolutely delighted by it. And I continue to be delighted by it as the character learned more and more about his new reality. And also, I just think that the idea of an unaware NPC leading us through this story and conveying the basics of this world, and then also using that character to explore some very familiar video game qualities and ideas is something that can lead to a whole bunch of very amusing material, but also meaningful stuff as well. I was just grinning so big, having an absolute blast throughout Free Guy, but there are a couple of emotional beats that really got me here. Lil Rel Howery in particular is just really carving out quite the place for himself, playing supporting characters who have these unforgettable moments where they drop some serious, powerful truths in your lap. I've got this now, Brittany runs a marathon, the photograph, and I'm pretty sure that there's more out there that I'm not thinking of right now. Another thing that Free Guy just really gets right, something that from my limited perspective, I suspect could have been a major pitfall with a story like this is, making sure that the real world material is just as good and engaging as the part of the film that's playing out in Free City. And they very, very much accomplished that. Yes, I did, if I'm being honest, prefer the Free City parts, partly because the world building there is just a visual treat and an endless joy to explore further and further. But a lot of the emotional value of the movie is deeply tied to that real world part. And one just can't exist without the other. One can't be as powerful without the other. And that puts the movie in a place where you're never bummed when you're ripped out of Free City and plopped down into the real world. Both sections have significant value and they also flow very well together. And with that in mind, just trying to wrap my brain around how challenging certain technical components of this film must have been, it's, it's just totally dizzying to me. First, the visual effects here are fantastic. The level of detail is downright phenomenal. And again, the cutting back and forth between the two settings here is so vital. So editor Dean Zimmerman needs a real big shout out for that. And you know, so do all of the department heads for that matter. I fear I might not fully get at what I'm trying to convey here with this, but Free Guy has two distinct, stylistically different realms, of course, but there is something in every single department's work that still connects them. And it does so with more subtlety than I would have expected. And 
that makes them feel like one big connected reality in a sense. And I think that serves the flow of the film exceptionally well and also the meat of the story too. I do also have to point out, this might be the loudest I've been all year in a theater. And you guys know, I'm not usually one to have audible responses to stuff like this in public, but in this particular screening, I laughed, I clapped, and I basically just couldn't control my excitement when certain things happened, especially in the third act of the movie. I think you're, you're gonna know what I'm getting at there. I am giving Free Guy four and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Dessa movie scale. I am so excited for everyone out there to experience the joy that is Free Guy. This movie features some real craftsmanship on every level. Matt Lieberman and Zach Penn wrote a really smart, clever script here that is also loaded with sincerity and heart. And then the cast is just packed to the brim with talented individuals who have a very, very strong handle on what they need to be doing in order to bring that writing to screen in the best possible way. And actually with that in mind, one more big individual shout out is owed to Jodie Comer, who I think faces one of the most challenging parts in this movie, one that demands some serious range for her in order to work. And I think she nails every single ounce of it. I'm just so tempted right now to run through every single detail of this movie that I love so much, but we would be here for way too long. So instead, I will leave you with this. Yes, Free Guy is a hugely entertaining and highly rewatchable thrill, but there is also something that is just, it's so emotional along the lines of a movie like a Toy Story. And I would say that quality of the film just it really rocked me to my core, and I think it's contributing big time to the fact that this movie is sticking with me. I really want to watch it again for the fun of it all, but that heart, that heart is what brings it to that next tier in my book. That is where I leave you with Free Guy. I hope you see the movie. And when you do, hit the comment section below. Tell me what you think. Maybe throw in some information about your favorite part, but be sure to warn everybody if it's a spoiler. Curious to know what you guys loved about this one as well. Before I leave you, Patreon shout out time. Here's a great group of six. They are Evan, Efren, Justin, Steven, Caleb, and Carol. All longtime vital members of the campaign right there. We've also got a couple top tier folks in the mix, a whole bunch of fantasy football players. That's starting up again soon. So we got a few more spots left in the league. Head on over to the Patreon page. There's a link to that in the description section of this video if you want to sign up for that. It is a good time, but I warn you, we're all very competitive. All right, I'm out of here. You know what to do. Like and share this video before you leave and stay tuned. Got more movie reviews coming your way very, very soon. Mm -hmm.